Hi, I'm a soft skills trainer from the Department of Career Planning and Development and today we are going to be talking about the topic analogies. Let's have a look at what analogies really are. Well, an analogy is a comparison between two things and the comparison is used to determine the relationship between different sets of things. For example, bark is to dog as in meow is to, yes, you're right, cat. So there are many different kind of analogies also. So let's discuss the few types of analogies. The first one is a synonym or antonym. So you can have analogies where they can be similar or opposite to each other as in hot is to cold or part to whole or that is core is to apple. There can be other analogies also like function to a thing. Um, for example, a cook is to a stove or characteristic of something to another thing like slippery is to ice. It can also be a product to a thing. The relationship between the product and a thing that is milk is to cow. So let's have a look at how to solve analogies. So I have a couple of examples here where, where you can see how I've actually come to the conclusion to or the answer to a particular analogy after categorizing it into whatever we just discussed in the previous slide. <coughs> so the first one is crux is to argument. Now let's solve this. The options that we have are title is to book, bridge is to river, kernel is to nut, door is to house and costume is to actor. Now before actually solving any analogy you need to take into account a very important thing that is you need to have a very strong vocabulary. You need to understand which word means what because if you answer the question based on the limited knowledge of your vocabulary then you might be giving a wrong answer. For instance, if you do not know the meaning of the word crux, then you would not know how to solve this particular question. So let's first see what crux is. Crux means vital or decisive or a pivotal point. Now let's have a look at the different uh, <coughs> now let's have a look at the different options that we have. So we have to ask ourselves these questions. The first is, what is the most important part of a book? Is it a title? Can the book have other important parts? Yes, it can have pages. Is the bridge the most important part of a river? Well, can a river flow without having a bridge? It certainly can. Is the kernel the most important part of the nut? Well, what is a kernel and what is a nut? <laughs> kernel is basically a seed and nut is again a seed so this looks like a synonym doesn't it is the door the most important part of the house well it also has windows is the costume the most important part of an actor well it's actually acting not the costume always isn't it so the answer is the kernel is the most important part of the nut because that's the closest that's a synonym Okay, let's have another one. Frame is to picture. So we have the options. Ring is to finger. Sidewalk is to road. Coastline is to island. Shadow is to body. And fence is to yard. Now let's have a look at the logical relationship between them. So the frame surrounds a picture. So does a ring surround a finger? Similarly, does a sidewalk surround a road? Does a coastline surround an island? Does a shadow surround a body? And does a fence surround a yard? Hmm, now let's have a look. So what is the answer? Now let's have a look at the other options here. There are two options that actually are confusing. A ring surrounds a finger, yes. And a fence also surrounds a yard, doesn't it? So both these appear to be correct. However, a frame borders a picture and a fence borders a yard. 
So the correct answer would be fence is to yard. So if you look at the answers, we had a fence is to yard as an option. So we are going to be picking up fence is to yard because it surrounds it and it also borders it. So let's practice some of the analogies. On is to off as start is to because on and off are opposites. So we have to find the opposite of start that is stop. Nail is to finger as hair is to. Now nail is a part of the finger. So we have to find hair. It is part of what? It's a part of head. So head is the correct answer here. Eye is to see as ear is to. Well here ear is to like eye is having a function. So eye is to see. So what is the function of ear? It's hearing. So the answer is hear. Swift is to dear as slow is to. Well, it is a characteristic that we are looking at. So a deer is swift. That's the characteristic of deer. So here the characteristic of some animal that is slow, that is considered really slow. That's a tortoise or a turtle. So answer is turtle. Wool is to sheep as egg is to. Now here we are looking at the product or the thing that we get from that particular thing. So from sheep we get wool. So who, would, who do we get an egg from? The most logical answer. Chicken. Yes. So wool is to sheep as egg is to chicken. Now I have some sample questions for you. I would like you to actually go through them one by one with me and I will give you an answer and an explanation to why is the answer the way it is. And in case you can, go ahead and solve them before me by all means by pausing the video. Odometer is to mileage as compass is to either speed or hiking or needle or direction. Well, the option is D as in direction. Why? Well, an odometer is an instrument used for mileage. It is to measure a mileage. A compass is an instrument used to determine direction. So choices of A, B and C are incorrect because none of them are an instrument. Marathon is to race as hibernation is to. Well, we are supposed to find a synonym here obviously. So the answers that we have are winter, bear, dream and sleep. So the obvious answer is D, sleep. Now why is that an answer? Well, a marathon is a long race and hypernation is a lengthy period of sleep. The answer is not choices A, B or C because even though a bear and winter are related to hibernation, neither completes the analogy. And choice C is incorrect because sleep and dream are not synonyms. So we're looking at synonyms here. The next is window is to pain as book is to the options are novel glass cover and page but the option correct option is d why well a window is made up of panes and a book is made up of pages the answer is not a the answer is not a because the novel is a type of book the answer is not b because the glass has no relationship to a book C is incorrect also because a cover is not only a part of a book. A book is made up of a book is not made up of covers. So we have option D that is pages. Let's have another one. Now let's have a look at some of the picture forms of analogies. Here you can see a picture that has a hand and a ring sort of a figure and a man's face and then there's a question mark. And the options that are given are a cap, an ear, a glove and a bat. Now which one do you think should come in that particular box that has a question mark? It says option A. Why? Because hand is to ring as head is to cap. A ring is worn on the person's hand and a cap is worn on a person's head. So hence it is A. So we have a ring as opposed to the finger or the hands and what goes on the head, what object goes to the head, it cannot be an ear, it cannot be a bat certainly, 
it has to be a cap. So let's have a look at the second option here. We've got a car, a horse and a buggy, a computer and then we have a question mark. We have to find the relationship that goes in the fourth column. So let's have a look at the options. We've got a car, we've got a TV, we've got a Christmas tree and then we've got a pen and an ink pot. The answer is option D, that is a pen and an ink pot. Why is that? Because a car is to a horse and a buggy as computer is to a pen and ink. Well, this relationship shows the difference between the modern times and the times past. So if you look, the car is of modern times, the buggy and the horse is of previous or old times. Similarly, the computer is of modern, uh, sorry, uh, sorry, yeah, the computer is of modern times. So what was in the old times that was used in order to process, write, everything? It cannot be cards, it cannot be a Christmas tree or a TV. Yes, it was pen and ink pot. So that's the correct answer. Let's have another question. Now this is a different question. It says that the words in the it basically says that you have to relate the words in the same way as the words on the top row. So for each of them we have options and you have to find out what comes in the place of a question mark. The first question is <clears throat> candle, lamp, floodlight, hut, cottage. Now what do you think will come next? Can it be a tent, city, dwelling or a house? Well the answer is D, a house. because. The relationship shows a progression of sources of light. The relationship below that particular line shows a progression of types of housing from smallest to the largest. So for example, choice A is incorrect because the tent is smaller than the house and choices B and C are wrong because they are not a part of a progression. And D, a house is a part of a progression. I hope you will be able to solve future analogies when you see them using the tricks that we used here. Thank you for watching. Bye now.